Oh, hi everyone, Great Power 60. I am totally exhausted. So this is three, <laughs> three of six boxes Ooh, of Christmas stuff. Christmas, Christmas stuff. And I've got no more room in this mess here was what I was going through piece by piece. What a mess. I haven't felt like it. Um, I think it's been sitting here for about a week or two. Um, I started going through it when I thought mom was nice and safe at the uh, whew, retirement home. Retirement home, the nursing home. Nope. Nope, I'm very angry about that. That's something I don't think I'll ever get over. Should have kept her home with me and nobody would have kicked her and she wouldn't have fallen. She wouldn't have been hurt. I'm still angry. Lots more wreaths. Got some protective wrap. Bags, boxes. I don't know what the hell else is in here. Anyway, it's another one. And this one is Craft Stash Miscellaneous. This is um, oh, Multi Craft Stash. Now, this is the extra stuff. Oh, I'm going to get down a bit here. That I got from the Multi Craft store that I've already taken out what I want to keep and I've already packed it away. Sorry, I hope I'm not yelling. Things here. Cookie cutters. Pom-poms. More cookie cutters. Another one of these. Oh, pinwheel punch board. Supposed to pinwheel whatever. What else I got? Oh my god. I got tons of stuff in here. Yep. So this is, I don't know if you recall, I had a lot of these wooden hangers that you could hang. Actually, you know what I was thinking? Oh, let me take you in here. Try not to get you dizzy. I'll sit at my desk. That is a mess. Oh, sorry. I was trying to be <laughs> trying to be neat about it. Oh, I had filmed a video of showing you some silly ideas and uh, ended up not putting it up because I was too upset. However, what I was thinking with these now, let me see where I put, I have a small, hang on. Okay, I'm back. I'll show it to you after my, uh, I was gonna say my claw. Um, I, I think I, I picked it up. At, did I pick it up at Amazon or Dollarama? I don't remember. Anyway, I don't know if you guys remember, I got a lot of these metal little, um, things. They're more than that. Let me get the wrap. Oh, so I went all the way downstairs and brought up four boxes. Let me have a little drinky poo. <laughs> I got a little bit more sleep, so I'm feeling a little bit better, but usually I'll go to sleep around three or four in the morning and sleep for a couple of hours and that'll be it. Anyway, so, um, yeah, these wooden mittens with the wire hanger. I got a whole box full. I thought I had a variety of other things, but I think I gave them all away. So I'm going to count and see how many of these I've got. And uh, these will easily go hang on a neighbor's door. So that would be the bulk of it. And I can also attach a bag of goodies in there with a little note saying, Merry Christmas. Um, thanks for being a good neighbor. 
blah, 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 things like that. You know, I could even add one of these, but I don't like these for that. I haven't decided. You remember these um, long sticks that I had painted one of these. I've got quite a few of these. I've got a lot and lots of um, pipe cleaners. I've got plain, i got beige ones, i got brown ones, I've got red, green, and sparkly ones. And I've also got, this is, this is a stash that I kept in case I ever needed it. And then I've got, in one of these bags, I think there's four? I don't, I don't remember. Let's open it up. Because I am just brain dead. Uh, no, six. There's three of each. So I've got different colors of pom-poms that I can use at any occasion, but I have too many. I have way too many. I've got way too many of everything. Now I could just put them in my stock and put them away and then have them, you know, for whatever, you know, uh, whenever I'm making a craft, whenever I'm doing anything, you know, I'll be able to, uh, play around with that but when I saw these I kind of got the idea um, because we have door handles instead of knobs on our apartments I thought that this wire piece here would just slide onto the door with this little wooden hand and attached to it could be you know a little thing of chocolates, a little note, a little something. I haven't decided quite how to do it yet. Like I said, I don't know how many of these I have. So it'll be a matter of, you know, taking these, um, taking these things off and uh, coming up with, you know, um, whether or not, like I'm not gonna do the whole building, I'm just gonna do my floor. And I think there's 12 apartments. Um, two, four, six. Six on each side is 12, yeah. So there'd be 12 apartments, maybe 13, I'm not sure. Um, because where one apartment would be, that's where the garbage chute is. So on the other side, it would be, anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it now. But that's what I thought I would do. Uh, because, you know, every year, regardless of my financial situation, regardless of the sadness that I have with mom and, you know, um, realizing that even though I feel guilty, realizing that I did as much as I could for mom and maybe, maybe it was God's way of saying, you know, he doesn't want to take her while she's at home with me. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't, you know, I can't. We can never guess what, um, you know, what God's plan is. Although I wish he wouldn't be so cruel about it. But however, you know, I'm talking to you about it now, but... When I go to edit this, I know I'll be bawling my head off because that's what I do. You know, I can add a little, a little bling in here. Just uh, get some hot glue and just put a little bling on there. Pretty these up a little bit and hang them on the door. And I could put a message on here. Now I don't have a printer. My printer's not working. It was working with my old computer, but now my old computer is not working. So I was trying to line it up with my iMac and the Apple product. And um, I haven't been successful, but maybe if I bring it in here, I might. So that's what I plan on doing with these. I'm going to make sure that there's nothing that'll come off of them, you know, make sure they're glued well. Put a little sparkle here of some kind. I've got lots all over the place. I've got stickers. You know that I've got tons of stickers. Um, and that's what I'm going to do with those. And uh, I think I have it over here. Over here. 
I have this Kinder Happy Moments package. And inside are all of these individual uh, Kinder chocolates. Um, some of them are, are, are like um, truffle type and some are like a little chocolate bar. I thought I saw some in here that almost looked like a little, yeah, like a little um, Easter egg or not an Easter egg, but, uh, you know, a bonbon of some sort. Anyway, I've got lots of those, tons of those. So that is another, you know, thing that I can do. I've got lots of plastic bags, lots of and uh, I haven't made a trip to Pritchard's packaging, which is where I get a lot of my, let's see if we can bring you down so you can look at that. Um, that's where I get a lot of my uh, clear bags and so on. And it's it's handy because I, I don't have to guess at the sizes. It's, everything is there and they have every size possible. And whether you want them pre-sealed or not, I've got those, they're there. They've also got boxes and things and anyway. Hence the name for packaging. So, I showed you this in the hall, this 10 Teas of Christmas, and I was hoping, and of course I was wrong, I was hoping that these had, it says eight tea bags, and I was hoping they were individually wrapped. Unfortunately, when you open it up, they are not individually wrapped. They are in these here. Now, what kind is this one? This is apple cinnamon. So there's English breakfast, hot cinnamon spice. Um, and you know, I made some fake. Um, I'm going to be drink. I'm going to be drinking. I won't be drinking this one because I'm going to keep this uh, little package because somehow I'm going to open them up and um, you know I know they're all in here and they're all supposed to be nice la 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 this is English breakfast but I know they're just loose tea bags so I'm just shaking it down here too so let's see what they actually look like uh-huh okay so they are these ones I'm going to be drinking because it's English breakfast and I love English breakfast. And there it is there. Mmm, they smell so good and I love English breakfast tea. I like the Irish breakfast tea as well. But um, I'm not fussy on flavored teas. Um, I'm pretty much a plain tea eater, drinker. <laughs> um, but I've got all of these. Let me show you here. So I've got all of these other ones in here. Peppermint, holiday chai, Earl Grey, cinnamon vanilla, gingerbread spice, cranberry, uh, hot spice, and apple cinnamon. And we'll bring you back down here so you have more to look at. Yeah, so what I was going to do was repackage them instead of putting in these boxes or leave them in the boxes, tie a ribbon around it, and have it hang from these little wooden pegs, or somehow have them, you know, I think probably hanging, maybe put them in a baggie and have it attached. So um, that's what I was thinking of doing with these, because, um, I'm, I'm basically the only tea drinker. I don't know how many others there are. But I, I was hoping they'd be individually wrapped. And since they're not, since they're, they come in these little squares, um, I was almost tempted to create um, those, old, those tea bags that I had made years ago. And I wish I had one close by to show you, but I... I'm sure if you look at my videos, you'll see um, tea bags or something like that. Where is my drink back here? Yeah, um, and I'm also going through a lot of my Christmas stuff. So I brought up two more boxes. 
some of the things I just showed you here. I have to, you know, um, when I filmed my last video, I haven't, I haven't posted it because I started getting tired and teary and talking and I don't want to do that when I'm doing my videos, but I'm sure many of you understand that it's, it's, um, it's difficult. Even, it doesn't matter what age you are, you know, unless you absolutely hate your family. When some of them, some, when someone is, is, uh, on the path to Jesus, um, we get tired, we get sad, as I'm trying not to do right now, and um, trying to keep busy. My house is, it, it's organized, and my living room is all organized and everything, except for the stuff that has to go on the balcony, um, if and when we can ever get out there again, where I can start putting flowers out and so on. Um, it's basically um, okay. I just haven't dusted, I haven't vacuumed, I haven't sat in there, I haven't watched TV. Since mom went in, and that was the 20, 24th of October, mom went to Grace Manor. And from the 24th of Octo October to today, which is, I think, the 9th or 10th of December, um, I've watched about three hours of TV. Um, I started to watch a movie and turned it off. I watched the news at the end of the news when they give the weather report because I always like to know how the roads are going to be when I go out and visit mom. I'm always afraid of freezing rain and she's far enough away. I mean, it's, it's, it's a long drive to get to the hospital from here. And, um, you know, so I'm always checking the weather and that's it. Uh, I, I haven't been watching TV and all that stuff so um i thought you know sometimes when you think of doing something kind for someone else and you start putting it in your mind to help someone else it seems to i won't say take away the grief or the sadness that we're feeling, or I'm feeling actually. It's not taking it away, it's redirecting it. And that's what I want to do with these things. So let me know in the comments what you think, um, whether I should leave these in the box and put them in a bag maybe with, with some candy cane and maybe a couple of chocolates. Um, and have them, you know, hanging off of this, this little guy here. I don't know. Or whether just to have, you know, a candy cane hanging with a little bag of a couple of chocolate candies or whatever I have. So I haven't decided. I'll, you know, I'll take you along and show you what I've done. Maybe I'll, I'll do that. Um, but I think that um, I, rather than handwrite it, I would rather have print off a little, a little poem. I mean, I'll research a little poem on thank you for being my neighbor or, you know, something, you know, hope you have a good, you know, holiday, whether you're alone or whether you're with family, there's always somebody thinking of you, you know, so something along that lines that I would like to do. So, um, and since these are already bought, it's not like I, I have expensive things, like I don't have to, you know, fork out any money because it's already been spent and I already have the supply. So that is what I've been up to. That's what I'm doing. And now I'm just going to, you know, I'll make a few things and come up with some kind of idea. And, um, you know, it would be nice if I could have a little thing on here but it would be too small I don't want it too small to read you know it would be nice if it was this size and perhaps even um, you know attach it here so they can still see this information but maybe just attach it so they can flip it up with like just thank you for being a neighbor 
or, you know, um, whether you're alone or whether you have family, um, just know that one of your neighbors is thinking of you and hoping you have a good Christmas. So something like that. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for today. Thank you so much for your prayers. Mom is resting still um, in the hospital. We are waiting for a hospice bed. Um, I don't, they don't come at this time of year. It's very difficult to get a bed. Um, she may s remain in the hospital. I have a, a, a team of... Um, palliative care um, nurses and doctors that are there um, and the nurses are so sweet I've gotten to know them because I go there every day that they have you know as soon as they see me coming in oh hi Donna and you know checked on your mom you know she's she hasn't changed it's still the same she refuses to eat refuses to drink um, and uh, we're just making her comfortable and that's, you know, basically, that is um, it. So, um, at this point, we're just waiting. Waiting. Um, although today, I was rubbing mom's back, and I was rubbing her legs, and rubbing her arms, and gently, you know, just stroking and her face and holding her hand and talking to her and telling her how much I love her. And uh, she woke up a little bit with her eyes and looked at me and said, I love you. And um, that was very sweet. And um, I was very happy to hear her voice knowing she hasn't quite gotten to the stage where she is basically comatose. So anyway, that was, that was my day. That was, that was wonderful for me. Anyway, guys, uh, enough, um, you know, of that. I'm going to be doing enough tearing, uh, later. So let's keep this as light as I possibly can and just, you know, think of others when when you're when you're when you're grieving, when you're sad. Sometimes finding something to do for someone else, some random act of kindness, can be very very cathartic and very rewarding. And um, I thought I saw here. I'm just going to look quickly while I'm chatting with you. I have a whole stash here of things that I found, um, like these. <laughs> I found these. I wonder where I put, um, I had some bling, bling, bling. <laughs> um, Christmas bling, I call it, because it's the Christmas colors, and it's probably stuck in in all of this that I have down beside my feet. And it could very easily be just about anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have it handy. But I do have a... Unless it's in here. Here's another thing that I found in my stash. These are leaves and flowers, um, wooden flowers and leaves um, that I could paint and put different, like, that should go in my wooden box. My wooden box is right here, and that wooden box is very small. I need to get a bigger one because I have a lot of wooden things. And of course, there's my elf Santa that I painted. I have 12 of these. Um, that would be another thing to think about. I don't know if I'm going to do anything with them this year or not. I am I am not 100% sure. While I'm talking to you, I'm still looking for the bling. Anyway, I should let you go. 
thanks for joining me. Thank you for uh, allowing me to uh, get a little teary, a little, uh, a little off topic a little bit. But um, thank you so much for joining me. And um, we'll see you whenever I put up my next video. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.